So my children and I were quote unquote homeless in the care of social services. And they had us in the Buena Vista hotel, which I'm telling you now, do not go to that hotel. They have the general public renting rooms, clueless that they have addicted people and mentally ill people that they're housing there, homeless people. So they kicked us out and placed my kids in foster care, quote unquote, foster care, which two of my sons are staying with my adult daughter. Two of my sons are staying with my adult son. They're getting paid for this. Well, this is because they wouldn't help me. Why is that? Well, they hate me because I left their abusive serial pedophile father. I wouldn't stay with him and make their lives all pretty and perfect. Although I stayed with him for eight years trying to make that happen. But as anyone knows and learns, you can't change someone. They are what they are. It is what it is. So they refuse to help unless they get paid by the county. So my kids are in foster care, quote unquote, foster care. So they kicked us out and I was going to get stuck living under a bridge with the meth heads if I didn't find some place to go. So I messaged numerous people. Well, nobody wants to get involved with somebody in social services because what they're doing to my life, that's what they're going to do to theirs. And everyone knows this. One friend reached out a hand to let me go stay with her. One. And this is what I encountered. Little did I know that she had an abusive narcissist of her own, much like my ex-husband. Look at the mess that he left for her. He cut his hair and then just left it in the bathroom. This is what he left. This is the mess. Now, wouldn't a real man take pride in his yard? Actually take care of the garbage? Throw stuff away? I'm not trying to be sexist, but here in upstate New York, in Delaware County, where a man's supposed to be a real man, isn't this greatly lacking? Look at this mess. So here's the license plate that he had on his motorcycle driving it around Hell's Creation. And it's from Amazon. Did any police pick up on this, pull him over, do anything about it? Nope. Nope. And can you see the problem here? Look at the spoon just laying there. Why is there a random spoon? Isn't that weird? There's another one. Can you see it? Can you spot the spoon? See it? Much like the spoon I found in my ex-husband's dresser when I first moved in and I had no idea what it was. Oh, here's his book so it can look like he's doing something about his drug and alcohol use. It looks cute. Oh, there we are. Another spoon. And then look what we found. I found. This explains the yard and the rest of his life. I found this trying to help my friend organize as she's a single mom. The shit was everywhere, all in his garbage. 
Oh, and look at this. Did you know this even existed? That you can buy urine so you can pass drug tests? I had no idea until I found this in his stuff. And social services, Child Protective was actually in that home during COVID. And she begged them to help her get him out of that house. And they told her, do it yourself. They just left him there with her and her kids. Much like Delaware County did with my ex-husband, John Banks. So I contacted Delaware County because this is in Shenango County. All this is happening. But I was a ward of the state in Delaware County, kind of one foot in each county, which made things confusing. Told them what was going on and asked them for escape. Nope. Do it yourself. So I started calling the cops. And I told them of his license plate. And thank God the Afton Police Department helped my friend. Way more than the Sydney Police Department ever did for me when I was in the same situation with John Banks. Phil Cole, a Sydney police officer, actually told John where we were in the battered woman shelter in Delhi, And gave him the phone number. And me and my children, my three children, had to leave because they blamed me. But that's all in the past now, right, Keith Weaver? Much like my friend's narcissistic ex-boyfriend in the past. Because I was calling the police and I confronted him when he started a yelling match in the front yard and I told him, shut up. You're embarrassing yourself. The whole neighborhood can hear you. Stop it. And then the neighbors started calling the police. And thank God my friend went to the Liberty Program. They are actually helping her. They're helping her with back bills, her rent, her electric. They gave her cameras to put up around the house. They got her hooked up with Wi-Fi. Way more than Safe Against Violence in Delaware County ever did for me and my children. Their motto in Delaware County is do it yourself. I actually was turned in to Child Protective for being beaten by my husband. I have child abuse charges on me for being beaten in Delaware County. Nice, huh? That's what's safe against violence. The Sydney Police Department and Delaware County Social Services did for me and my children. So thank God Shenango County handles things differently. Thank God for my friend.